And now, Revelation Fireside. January the 6th, 2021. Major unrest erupted in the US Capitol, triggering the deployment of the National Guard, after protesters breached the most heavily secured Capitol building in the nation, sending lawmakers to run for cover, forcing evacuation, and frantic lockdown. Now I tell you before it come that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy, December the 30th, 2020. In a vision a large contingent of military or law enforcement personnel are seen in uniform, in the streets seemingly to keep the peace from major unrest in the USA. The Lord is revealing the National Guard is out in the streets and they, and they take over the streets. The National Guard or you know, some sort of a people like them yes, out in the streets. And it's not good. It's not good. It's going to be a lot of trouble. And now today's sermon, Mysteries of Harvest Army, Worldwide Vision Day, and World Revival City. And the Lord began to deal with me and said, the, the, the world and the church don't understand the to come. And that's why the churches are closed today. As the preacher said last night, 87% of the body of Christ have not been back to church. 87%? That's everybody. When, when you learn maths, you pass 5.5, 5. 5, they call it 6. Anybody do mathematics? Arithmetic? Come on, accountants. Are you there? 90% they call 100. <laughs> oh, 87%? Can you imagine this? This is not normal. But did we not remember that as the Lord spoke to the world through Worldwide Vision Day, that they were warned that if we think this status quo is going to continue like it is, where everything is just about the in part of the church, everything is just about the indoors, God is going to allow things to happen where this thing is going to change. And as the law began to deal with me last night, the law began to simplify some things. Sim to simplify some things. And what the Lord is doing, there are three things I want to leave with you. The Lord has raised up the church. He has raised up Harvest Army Church. And, and, and that's why, you know, there are folks from other states crying out for Harvest Army Church. And what am I talking about? And countries, even this week. And God has raised up the church, the Harvest Army Church, in a time as this, for a purpose like this. And we we just beginning to see the full some of the fulfillment that we thought was far away. So, so the church, some of the Harvest Army Church, and and the purpose that God used to have this. Have this example of, of world revival, of every believer, preacher, of folks rising up, of every brother, every sister in the church having the opportunity to become a, a mighty preacher. That's the kind of church. It's the church. Harvest Army Church International. Vision. To raise up an army of harvesters for world revival. Motto. 
born to bear, chosen to care, set up a standard, and blow the trumpet. While studying at Miami Christian College, Bishop Collins was greatly burdened with the extensive soul-winning gap which permeated the body of Christ. Despite the many conventions, Christian radio, television programs, tent meetings, prayer conferences, healing crusades, pulpit preaching, and written books, this gap was not filled. This burden led him into six months of prayer and fasting for the solution to this gap. It was the year 1990. One morning at approximately 4.30 a.m., the Lord said two words, harvest army. This was further confirmed in the scripture in Ezekiel 37.10. The hand of the Lord was upon me. He brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, O sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the voice of the Lord. I will make breath into you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded and as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound and the bones came together. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, and say to it, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe into these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life, and stood up on their feet, a vast army. The Lord has greatly signified the Harvest Army World Revival Movement since its inception. The movement has exploded mightily worldwide for impacting every strata of human existence. The magnitude of the impact is evident. The vision of Harvest Army is to raise up an army of harvesters for world revival. Laymen are raised up to preach and to be a witness of the gospel of Jesus Christ on the highways, hedges, and everywhere according to the scripture. The full manifestation of the prophecies spoken by Pastor David Wilkinson. Suffering persecution and aware of the signs of the times, an army of true Jesus followers will continue to arise like commandos. They will be a part of the underground church that will be found preaching the return of Christ and at the end of the age. They will be like a thorn in the side of the harlot church, and they will sting and sear the consciences of men by their devotion and spiritual power. Devil worshippers will be in open conflict with all these true Jesus followers. Only those living by true faith will be able to discern the spiritual wickedness in high places. The second thing that God has raised up is Worldwide Vision Day. But then God brought Worldwide Vision Day. This thing, Worldwide Vision Day, was not only a prophecy, it is God's providence. In Isaiah 66, verse 8, he said, Who had heard such a thing? Wow! In other words, God said, Since the earth was, that has never happened. Who had seen such a thing? In the bottom of that scripture, shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day god was challenging the world that has never happened before but it's 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 inscribed in scripture and it has got to happen and god spoke to us and it started and to demonstrate it was from god we were shocked at the impact we were shocked 
at the impact. Somebody said the church. Somebody said Harvest Army Church. Somebody said Worldwide Vision Day. And so last night, God began to bang in my spirit, bang in my spirit. We come to the Worldwide Vision Day, and the Lord said, Worldwide Vision Day is required. I can't say everything, church. Is required of the body of Christ. Is that is that to influence and to motivate and to mobilize? Say it is required unless we respond, unless the body of Christ respond, we're gonna see worse. We're gonna see worse. For it's required. God only find some little nobodies. Cause he has to use people. So you still look at nobody to shout it from the mountain. That's all. So even today, we reorganize it. Yeah. We obey God. It's reorganized. On another level. Glory to God. It's a requirement. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's why God said, say that he dear are four months. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then come at the harvest. So you know it's three months. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you there? Are you there? Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. If you know something else, you will take everything I'm saying. If you know something, you, know, you can't know everything. But if you know something else, you take everything I'm saying. You will take it so deep if you know something else. <laughs> Somebody say harvest army church. Somebody say worldwide be John Day. In 2014, the Lord gave a mighty revelation of World Vision Day. Oh. I heard World Vision Day. Since then it has grown and is now called Worldwide Vision Day. Worldwide Vision Day is a revelation from our Lord Jesus Christ for every Christian believer in every country to gather together like the day of Pentecost and storm the streets of their main cities to preach and prophesy the coming of Jesus Christ and the signs of his coming for at least one hour, the same day as a witness to all nations. And now, Worldwide Vision Day, across the world. Japan, Cyprus, Tanzania, New Zealand, Cambodia, Bahrain, California. Niger, Worldwide Vision Day explodes in Islamic North Africa, Cameroon. Rwanda, Massive Souls Salvation Korea, Taiwan, Australia, Pakistan, Hong Kong, Lagos, Nigeria, Mozambique, Thailand, United Kingdom, Times Square, New York, Guyana, Philippines, Charleston, Illinois, Bronx, Atlanta, the word of God, let's populate heaven and plunder hell in Jesus name. Amen. The powerful outpouring of the Spirit of God upon all flesh has begun manifesting worldwide, triggering revival as churches and Christians all over the world break out under the power of God, preaching, witnessing, prophesying, and gathering souls into their local churches. All on one day, World Vision Day, where believers worldwide gather on the same day, at 12 noon, for one hour with one voice boldly declaring the gospel of Jesus Christ and his return. One day in every season.
season. Um dia cada sessão. One day in every three months. Um dia em cada três meses. One day in every quarter. Um dia em cada quatro meses. God is commanding the church from Australia to America. Every believer, every boy, every girl, man, woman, tall, Deus short, está comandando fat, todos na igreja da Austrália black, para aqui, branco, preto, amarelo, para em um dia adorar. One day. Um dia. One day. The outpouring is upon us. Jesus is gone. Jesus is gone. This is war. Somebody say harvest on me, church. Somebody say worldwide vision day. And I thought it was over. And God says is world revival city. I'm telling God is simplifying it. Harvest Army Church with a particular purpose. Worldwide Vision Day with a particular purpose. And World Revival City. Are you there? And the next sermon I preach is gonna, gonna be why World Revival City. Next major project of Harvest Army International is to acquire a large estate of about 100 to 200 acres as the World Revival City, the epicenter for the long-awaited end-time revival. It will be the ultimate site on earth to invoke the outpouring of God's revival across the world. Some of the features will include the following, church, revival seminary, prayer mountain, stadium, television studios, music studios, hotels, auditoriums, Christian theater, library, restaurant, bookstore, media center, restoration station, rehabilitation quarters, practice pavilions, tents, campsite, residences, lakes, wells, springs, cabins, farms, storehouses, dormitories, sports facilities, schools annex, reports quarters. It will be the place to empower millions of Christian laymen, women, boys and girls to preach, witness, prophesy, release all believers into world ministry, ignite believers for their country, release believers to every country on earth. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight for your faithful people. We thank you, Lord, for calling on us to seek you, Lord. Will you give us the assurance? You say, you say, ask and it shall be given. You say, Lord, seek and he shall find. You say, knock. And it shall be open. So Lord you give us a promise Lord. But as we obey this word tonight. You will respond even more than we ask. Because even before we cry out. You are ready to release. Father tonight I pray. I pray for the church. I pray for the body of Christ. I pray God. Oh, for the harvesters of the church. I pray God for the, for, for, for the visionaries and workers in worldwide vision day. This night, Lord, we pray God for the forming of the world revival city. And Lord, we prepare ourselves and we be ready as you move upon us. Somebody say in Jesus' name. I'm going to let you go in a minute, but I heard the pastor said just a few minutes ago, he said, just this week we learned that there is a law on the books right now. It's now a bill on the books that you don't have to have any medical situation. No. He didn't say that. He said, as long as they conclude that you are a risk or a threat, you will be detained. That's in New York. You see, you've got to listen a little more than what he said. Because the pulpit can't say everything. Did you hear what I said? 
You have to listen. You have to listen. You see, when God gave the great gathering, when, when God gave the gathering, when the Lord said, gather the people, is that everything spoken right now, anybody they consider is a risk. It could be an individual. It could be a group. You know what group they mean. Come on. Any risk, even if you're never ill, they said it, so you don't have to be ill. You only have to be someplace where somebody who the claim is ill said John was there too. John was in that Burger King on the other side of the, of the store or the restaurant and he was there too. And all of a sudden, the police show up at your house. <laughs> you better have somewhere to hide in your house. Are you there? That's bad. That's how bad it is. So you have to be aware is the awareness holy ghost holy ghost is the awareness the gathering so much together the people is mightier than you understand yeah yeah holy ghost help me holy ghost help me it's more important than you understand my god man if it, if, if it was fully understand understood or fully received or fully grasped hallelujah Glory to God with a problem putting on people tonight. Are you there? I had to come and see how, how hard it was to be here tonight. You know how hard it was to be here. But this has to be released. This has to be spoken. The call together, get the people, is mighty than a wonderful like voice. Just like the call worldwide, be John Bay. And the church ignore it and despise it. And today some of what you see is the consequence of despising the call for the body of Christ to arise together one day, one hour. Job 24, 1. Why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty do those who know me not see my days? Days. Those who know me don't see the call for worldwide vision day. Can somebody take the mic while I'm talking? Can no, I don't feel like stop again. So that was the harvest army first. The call to be a part of this church. And folks are praying in countries and in state and say, Lord, bring a harvest army church. And we don't even know. We don't even know they're praying. What if we had given up? What if we had thrown in the towel you know how many we would have left to die Shut up. but God brought out his army church and then he called for worldwide vision day and now he's calling for the world revival city help me to pray because I need a governor for that city glory to God I need a governor that is like we have a general overseer we, we just chose a general overseer for harvest for the church. <laughs> Amen. And we have a general director for worldwide vision day. I told you take the mic and you won't take it. And now we need a governor. Hallelujah. For world revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father in your hand I place every brother, every sister, every girl, every boy who are seeking you. You send your word tonight to give us that jerk to seek even beyond what we hear. To seek beyond that sermon. To seek for those things that could not be spoken but was sent from you to be heard, to be understood and to be processed and to be acted upon. Move upon those here tonight. Move upon those who could not be here. Let them hear what has not been spoken. Let them hear the fullness of that which has been spoken. And they'll understand why the great gathering. They will understand why the great gathering. I rebuke confusion. I rebuke distraction. I rebuke darkness. I rebuke a, a, a cloudiness and, and fading and, uh, and lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. And I release the voice of God, the face of God, the hand of God, the eyes of God, the ears of 
God upon your people. In Jesus' name, God bless.